<clears throat> what the heck? Were you guys waiting? That's kind of weird. I don't know why I didn't even go live yet. Seems like you guys are waiting. Anyway, happy Easter, everybody. I don't know why you guys would have been waiting. That's kind of weird. I'll give it a minute here. Apparently, uh, I see some old comments, though, so I don't know why it went live before I went live. Anyway, hey, everybody. Happy Easter. Here we are. I had some weird hiccups. Um... I have some like I think I half inhaled ashes and and I was coughing them and now I kind of got hiccups but again happy Easter everybody so I got the barbecue stoked out there charcoal barbecue just a little bit of coals running super hot and we have my piece of meat which is a ribeye a beautiful ribeye that I have had since October. So today we're cooking a six month old meat. I dry brined it for the last few hours. It was completely frozen, so I'm not gonna lie. I actually, uh, so I took it out of the freezer last night to just be on the counter for a few hours and then I was gonna put it in the fridge. But I actually forgot it in there overnight until probably like, I don't know, it was really early this morning. I mean, it was probably out for seven hours, and uh, then I like what I just like woke up at like six. I didn't get up at six, but I was like, "Oh my god, I left the meat out!" So I went down, and put it away in the fridge. But all right, this is freaking hot. I don't need to see, but the embers there's a little fire in it. So that is a hot grill right there. I oiled it a little bit, and, uh, excuse me, burping. Here you go, guys, I'm going to put this beautiful, um, you know, I was half debating reverse searing it. I wonder how hot I can get, because I really put only a very, very little amounts of coals in there. Um, I don't know how hot that would be. Uh, hmm, questioning, sear versus reverse sear. <laughs> It is at room temperature. The steak is definitely at room temperature. Let's see. Uh, might be best if I... Uh... Let's see. Anyway, look at, look at this piece of beef. Look at the meat. Just look at it. Alright. And anyway, I'm going to throw it on the grill. Oh, people saying reverse here. Alright, well... I'll put it on for a little bit, but I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's gonna be quite hot enough. I'll find out though. Let's try it. All right, so we just put the meat on the grill, not above the charcoals, but it has to be close to the coals because it's very very little. I was I was just thinking I would uh, kind of sear it and then offset cook it. Oh, people saying sear, off sear. Yeah, we'll try. I'll leave that like that for. Well, here, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, get my, going to go get my thermometer. And if this is heating up to at least high threes, then I'll do it. If not, we're searing. Excuse me, how's your pasta? Not bad, actually. Yeah, it turned out. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm using just some briquettes. There you go, putting the thermometer in the grill there. Let's see if it gets up to... Actually, sorry, that's the. this is the wrong thermometer. This is the one I'm going to stick in the meat. Let's find the other one. <laughs> sorry, like I said, these were weird, awkward hiccups. There we go, here's the right thermometer. Somebody's saying 120 degrees. No, 120 degrees is not a medium rare. 
<clears throat> a little uh, a little higher for medium rare. But uh I'm going to cook this for sure like a medium because like I said it was up uh it was kind of on the counter overnight. So I'd rather cook it a little bit well like I said it was still cold this morning but I'd rather cook it uh a little uh a little bit longer than a little less but just gauging by that thermometer yeah that is not hot enough we're searing it Oh yeah, now you can hear it. Hear that sizzle? Hear that little bit going on? Worst case, I have the flamethrower if we need to do that as well. To Pamela, it says you should pay more attention to your subscribers. Pamela, I respond to near every comment on every video. That takes hours and hours of my life. I pay a lot of attention to you guys. But, as you guys can see, and we are alive, I also have to pay attention to this lovely beef. So while I do love you guys, and I will be answering these uh, questions with you, especially once we sit down and actually get to, you know, eating and such, I'm happy to respond to your comments and do as I can while, or like when I can. And I appreciate Mr. Tuna, and all the other lovely people being in here, not only watching, but also answering these questions, because I also need to watch and eat this beef. I'm not sacrificing this beef. This is my Easter beef, y'all. <clears throat> but here, I'll give you, uh, I can give a few minutes, but we have lots of people. We have Amanda, we have Tuna, we have so many awesome people tuning in, both new faces. Unfamiliar faces. I'll scroll up a little bit, but whenever I start scrolling, I really hate it that I have to update the uh, thingy things. Uh, Randy says, what up, bra? Love your vids. Thanks, my friend. Let's see what else. What else we have going on here? Put the steak over it. Yes, definitely. Um, thick it like that. Gonna go oven, then sear. So I'm gonna try it just over the coals, and yeah, I'm gonna go uh, turn on the oven just in case. It is about two and a half to three inches thick. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. I don't think you guys can be able to see, but I'm starting to see like a little bit of the, I'll call it juice crusting on that bottom and just hear it. Can you guys hear that? Hear that searing? Hear that beautiful noise? It sounds delicious. Freaking awesome, y'all. Uh, Marinator Season asks Aaron, I did just a little bit of a dry brine. <clears throat> do I work out? Yes, I do work out. I actually uh, finally record it. Um, a workout for you guys, my home workout for you today. So that'll be in a future video. Am I sick? No, I'm not sick. Um, but like I said at the start of the video, I, I kind of inhaled some, some ashes, I think. So I kind of have like... My body's not sure what's going on. I kind of have the hiccups. I'm, well, I'm not jinxing it. Maybe it went away. But <clears throat> I kind of feel a mix between hiccups and the need to cough. KT Lady says, is there a food challenge you want to do that you haven't done before? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of them I definitely want to do. 
I'm actually, eh, I might put the lid on. I can put the lid on for this. It'll help keep the heat a little bit better. It won't make much difference. This is literally a roast. So, and I have my thermometer, which is what we're cooking by today. And I think I have all the vents open fully. Yes, I do. All right. So we'll see what else. Um, but yeah, food challenge. Uh, we got uh, that I haven't. I mean, like I said, there's just a lot. There's a lot I want to do. So, um, hello, sweetness. New subscriber. Can't wait till the meat's done. Thanks very much, sweet Teresa. Do bo do 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 says, what sauce are you eating with that bad boy? No sauce, probably just salt and pepper. Let's see the flamethrower. <clears throat> And throw is right here. I cooked s'mores with it before. It's pretty cool. Juice crusting. Yeah, the juice crusting. Do we season the meat? Just a dry brine. Hey, dude. Fan your channel. I'll be here when you good. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to put salt and pepper on it when it comes off the grill. It's got no color in the blood. Change your butcher. Ian, that's because it's been frozen for six months. <laughs> How are you today? Thank you very much, Minty. I'm doing well. Hope you're well as well. Anything else going on the grill? So, I actually originally planned to have like the full thing. I would have made the full thing stoked. It would have had lots of briquettes in there. Um, but the I was planning to buy a whole bunch of chicken yesterday, and because it was on sale and they were all out. So originally I planned to like cook the grill, cook the steak, and then just throw all that chicken on the grill. But since they were all out of it, it's only just the steak today. Hence why I'm using so few coals. Happy Easter to you, Joel from Trinidad, Tobago, next week. Thank you very much. Uh, Vicky has been been watching me while working out. Thank you. Appreciate it. We most of the time seem to be slightly congested. That's a great question. So I can only breathe through one side of my nose. So because of that, I will caught like I always have a um, uh, I always like not always, but I often get a drip um, just because I can only breathe out the one side of my nose. And yeah, but they, then there's times like you guys don't understand when you guys eat food, like food challenges and stuff. So right now it's also freezing outside, which is making my nose run. But during food challenges, when you fill up um, your nose as a defense mechanism, starts to drip. So like how you tell you're really filling up is like. Your nose will start running, and I'm not the only individual you can see. Uh, all, all other eaters, they'll start getting really full, and their nose and sinuses will start running. Um, so that's like a defense mechanism of your body, just as it ne next is starting to profusely salivate, and next comes throwing up, um, essentially. But, you know, uh, we've got a good internal temperature going on in that little in this little bad boy now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just look at it. I do want to look at the bottom of that. Let's see. <clears throat> what editing software do I use? I use... Sony Vegas. Look at that. Can you see that? That's freaking beautiful. Ah, I just got ash in my damn eyes again. That is burning hot. I'm going to rotate it. So we're going to have the craziest craziest sear marks on this bad boy. <clears throat> I see Amanda's talking about emailing me. What do we have going on here? A uh, cut of meat it is a ribeye. Um, it does look balls. 
What's your email? You can mail me at modelversusfood at gmail.com. Uh, do salt water twice a day in the morning if that really helps nose and throat clear. That's pretty cool. We got Ben in here. What's up, Ben? Hope everybody's having a lovely Easter. We got Mr. Kevin from Tampa. Contact email. What have a brand I would like to be a part of? Share with all. Uh, yeah, like I said, email me at modelversusfood. Hey, Dean, long time to see you. How's the lockdown treating me? I mean, in all reality, like, I mean, you know, I, 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 I definitely could complain, but I do have to take a step back and say, well, listen, I am alive and I am breathing, so I will not complain. But I, if I was to complain, I would express how disappointed and frustrating it is, at least at first, that the gym was closed. I'm getting, I'm, I'm very much accepting of it now, but at first I was very disappointed about that. And of course, restaurants closed is not that great anyway. We got Sean from Sarnia. Enjoy the barbecue. Thanks, my man. Yeah, steak's great. Uh, be good to see you eat off against Darren Eats. Uh, Darren can eat the most. He's a great eater. Uh, let's see. Not gonna lie, I, I wish I had steak instead of ham. Well, hey man, both are pretty nice. I do, I do a ham. My parents, which live across the country, are having a ham. I uh, oh, we got Bill Beard. What's up, Beard? I wouldn't mind some ham either. Uh, at least you can still order McDonald's. Yeah. We got Chase. What's up, man? Happy Easter from Guam. Jared, what's up? Happy Easter. Are you going to do more mukbang mukbangs? I'm not really done mukbang mukbangs, but like um, menu challenges, yes. Anthony, Joel no peekaboo, keep it covered, Oreo, keep it longer. You're absolutely right. Hi from Poland. Uh, Darren can eat more. Modelversefood at gmail.com. Yes, that is correct. You can. Throw some wings on it. I don't have any other meat, and everything is closed. Um, Mr. Drew says, are you ever coming back to Halifax? Yes. Uh... Happy Easter from India, Angela, Angelina, sorry, Angelina. What equipment do you use for videos? I have a Sony A5100. Notice the clean air in Hamilton. Yeah, the air's not bad. But Al from Woodstock. Uh, everything closed till Tuesday. I think tomorrow, I think everything's open tomorrow. So, but I did, I, as I said earlier, I had plans to cook probably about... 20 pounds of chicken, 15, 20 pounds of chicken, but they were also, because it, it was on sale, but they were all sold out. So otherwise, I would have had this fully stoked, not just minimally stoked, and um, yeah, YOLO, but they're all sold out. All right, this is looking pretty beautiful. Oh yeah. I see the little sizzlings going on. Just look at that. That's gonna be a nice crust. I left that well no that's still good. I would have left I probably took it off three seconds before, but I'm not gonna lie, I got distracted with you guys' comments. So let me fix this position. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh yeah. Juices are starting to come. Oh yeah, this fat. Look at this fat here. I don't know what angle you can see. But this fat is, is starting to render. Oh wait, there you go. See this fat is starting to render? That's beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. I see people talk about Jeff. Is Jeff in here? If so, happy Easter Jeff. Seasoning on the meat. I just did a dry brine. I will be with salt and pepper after. Oh yeah, that is hot. 
about heat. I just breathed in a lot of smoke though. That almost got lightheaded. Um, thanks, Angelina. Uh, I did pineapple juice, cinnamon, and maple syrup. Is that in your on your beef? Pineapple juice definitely breaks it down. There's an enzyme in it. Janet says, my husband and I watch I love your videos when mine embarrassing his if you wouldn't mind embarrassing his by saying, Dirk, your mustache isn't even. My pleasure. Uh, if Gordon Ramsay was there now, would you take a back seat and say away, Jose? I mean, if he's going to buy the meat, he can do whatever he wants with it. I mean, if you, if, honestly, if he wanted to cook my steak, I'd also accept that. No worries. Uh, lady... What's up, lady? Uh, ribeye looks like a small prime rib roast. That's exactly what it is. You should meet up with Leah and Beerman's Food. Yeah, I'd love to. I've met up with Beerman's Food before. He's a great guy. Have you done a challenge in Southwest Virginia? No, I have not. I've actually... Yeah, no, I've done a challenge in Virginia. Uh, near Virginia Beach. Did you say that was six months old? Yes, this steak is actually six months old. Let me see if the. Uh... I'll move quick. Let me see if the package of the package is still just on the top of the garbage. I'll show you. Uh, no, it is buried. I won't be showing you. But yeah, I bought it. Uh, I bought it at Thanksgiving, like Canadian Thanksgiving, which was in the beginning of October. So it's legit. It's legit. It's six months old. Actually, I'm probably going to step inside for a minute. Oh, wow, that's actually heating up really well. I'm impressed. I actually might have to walk, like, now that it's really, really, really going, really, really hot, I'll have to watch this a lot closer. We will be able to, we will be able to finish cooking it off. cooked all the way through but yeah somebody just said check the temperature oh yeah no it's it's totally not cooked yet but here I'll rotate it so it's off the heat for a second It's like three inches, well, two and a half, three inches thick. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. You can see my breath. It's cold out. So I'm going to step inside. I'm going to give it another minute and I'll turn it again. I personally don't really care about what this like. I don't care what the sear marks look like. It's gonna taste delicious, but um, yeah. But you guys might care about the sear marks. So I'll try to maintain it the best of my ability. Whew. It is cold. It was actually warm earlier. Like the sun went away. The wind is picking up. Uh, the sun was out earlier. It was about uh, about to maybe about thirteen degrees. Um, 
now, well, like 11, 12, 13 degrees Celsius. Um, but now it is absolutely freezing out. Angelina says, honestly, your videos are wonderful for when I'm overwhelmed with online school. Well, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. What time is it over there right now? It is about 5.37, uh, 5.38. Um, Eastern. I'm on Eastern time. Do you play video games? I do not. Are you having anything with the steak or just on its own? Honestly, I barely have any food. I forgot things were all closed. Um, so far to eat today, I've had just a little bit of protein powder. I've had two mangoes, which I bought, which were pretty damn good. The one was riper than the other. And I've had two pieces of bread and a carrot and a bell pepper, which I'll have my other bell pepper and I'll have some tomatoes with my steak and I'll also have some more toast. Jonathan, this is Hydro from Canada. Got Serenity up in here. You should come do the Hibernator Challenge here in England. Not against it by any means. I definitely need to get to England and the UK. Uh, Thermopen, yes, I would love one. You and Eric the Electric should collab. I'd love to. If he would collab with me. I tried very hard to make it happen. Um, I gotta turn this thing. <laughs> Somebody said six month old steak must be why it's taking a while to cook. No, this is so thick. Briquettes burst into flames. I'm literally covered in ashes. YOLO, casualties are to be expected. You should collaborate with Epic Meal Time. I'd love to. They stopped doing videos though. Like eating videos. I was actually in one of their videos. Um, if you go watch their biggest pizza video, I'm in the beginning of it. What has been your least favorite and most difficult challenge? Uh, I don't know. Um, some of the, again, some of the most difficult ones I can rhyme off. 20 pound ice cream challenge was very hard. A shawarma fry challenge was very hard. The big pancake challenge I did was very hard. Uh, any of the ones with raw food are very hard, and those are very not great. So an Easter challenge, I just did an Easter challenge. It released yesterday, so definitely check that video out if you haven't yet. Um, it is titled, I believe, Nine Pound Cake Challenge, and then it's a 12,000 calorie Easter special. So definitely check out that video if you have not already. But definitely, definitely you should uh, check that video out. It was pretty cool. I liked the video. I enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, is anyone teaching Joel how to cook? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Right now, at least. My gosh, you're doing it hard. I hope the stores are open for you tomorrow and get some more food. Yeah, I will. I literally basically have nothing. Like, usually I have stuff. The last few weeks, I've had so much stuff, but now I basically have nothing. Like, so ignore that stuff, but like, look. Look at the bottom. That's basically my nothing. Which normally that's full. But I mean, honestly, like, if I had, if I was at the store, the only thing I would really have or do differently is I probably would mm, maybe have oatmeal instead of bread or something, but I ate all my oatmeal, and I would have some more vegetables. That's really about it, to be honest with you guys. This is pretty accurate to what I eat normally in a day. I don't really do meals. I just eat when I want, what I want. YOLO. 
do seafood. I've done seafood, but yeah, I do like seafood. What made you want to be a competitive eater? Um, never was really the goal. I just watched a few of Randy's like videos. I was inspired by him. Well, let me rephrase that. I've always liked to eat. I've always wanted to do food challenges. But when you're like 15, you're not going to go risk $70 for a food challenge. And then... Um, I watched a couple of Randy videos, and then when I was older, I was like, I'm going to go try one, and I did. Oh, yeah, Elfman here. What's up, Scott? Happy Easter. Hoping you would read my message out loud at 535. Uh, Kenny Wu. I'm not sure what your message was, but I will read it. Uh, let's see. When, when and chewing food and challenges, what songs do you go through your head? Um, like, if I listen to music, it's all like death metal it's very aggressive pump up stuff oh my gosh now it's raining heck look see all the rain you can hear it damn it this just made things more interesting Ooh. that's hot the grill it is now hot enough in there that i could have reverse seared that was like 350 Oh yeah, it's 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 definitely we're definitely getting there. All right, it's rising. We're over a hundred. We're at one ten. This area is almost at 120. So we are getting there. We're getting there, folks. I might just rem I might actually uh, I might remove from the heat now put some of that more fat render you guys see I guess I'm kind of see going to be done in somebody says not yet five minutes yeah probably about five minutes if that yeah i'll say five minutes and then i'll basically just let it rest for a little bit i'm not gonna let it rest for long because i just want to eat barely like i said I've barely eating anything all day oh it's still cold in canada it's freezing out right now and it's now it's raining so I did pick up, yeah, I guess. For a second, I was worried I left the thermometer in the meat. Alright, so I have to go pee. So I'm basically just gonna leave you here. I don't think you guys really wanna come with that. Tent it when you rest it, yes. I will probably just put, I'll. If I really do it, I'll put it in, in tinfoil. Devra, it's 91 in Florida. Here it's maybe, I don't know, maybe 40, 40 between 40 and 45 max. Um, I made a cottage roll today. Pickled ham, ever had it? I haven't, but that sounds awesome. Bad weather, says Daryl. Yeah, it's supposed to be maybe snow and maybe even rain. Well, rain now, but maybe snow. Um, why did you keep it for six months? Uh, I just never had an occasion to cook it. And I had other food. Serenity, are you going to have Joel grill steak for you during your time slot? Still cold in Canada, very cold in Canada. 
raining in Fort Wayne, Indiana right now. It's way rain here as well. Uh, J Jork, you sent your Swedish rain to Canada. Yeah. Uh, keep the vids. Thank you so much. Stage. The rain in Sweden earlier today. You need a digital thermometer. I do. I used to time myself eating a lot before I had my gastric band. Thank you for watching. Uh, John in St. John, New Brunswick, Place Vegas, Bar and Grill. You know, Jonathan, I actually reached out to them. I tried to do it before. I will do that at some point, hopefully. Um, but I need to go check out my state. <clears throat> and then I really need to pee. Uh, 16 thunderstorms here in Georgia. Hey, Loretta. Happy Easter. that sizzle real quick. Can you see it? Yeah, you guys can see it. Look at that. Beautiful diamond. Honestly, I'm going to bet this is done. Oh my gosh, it just pushed in so easy. I think it's done. Put it in tin foil. Depending on the part of it, it's about 120 to 140. So I'll just take in between. Let's say that's 130. That's fine with me. So I'll wrap it in tin foil and whatever. Yeah, I was I supposed to be in Vegas too. All these crazy time or travel, you know, whatever. And I was actually supposed to be going to Louisiana on. Who's coming Friday? I 
let me just double check where it's thicker. Like where it's thinner, it's definitely cooked, but I want to check a little where it's thick. Really, really thick right by the bone, because there's a bone in it, so the bone makes it, uh, extends the cooking time ever so slightly. That's fine with me. It's a little wider than I thought, actually. May not really be able to fit it like that. Let's try that right there. That might work. There we go. This wrap, very nice. I think it should be good. It'll rise a few degrees, so. this mistake but now I can get myself over it out of the cold weather. Oh I can just from touching that beef got all that fattiness on my on my uh, fingers. And yes somebody said I barely had any coals in there that is exactly right. I barely had any coals in there. Didn't need them. Sending you a PS Someone said PST card from Alberta. I saw some about Alberta. I grew up in Alberta. I was born in Alberta. I like to watch you eat mukbang. Thanks, Andre. Yes, Steph Metal. Don't do what I do. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. Yeah, that's that's basically my uh, that's my closing line more often than not. 
because it's true. I want you all to be happy, healthy, and hungry, but don't ever do what I do, guys. Actually, let me rephrase that. This is probably one time where I'll say, you could probably do what I do. You can, if you can safely barbecue and eat just a normal portion, which we're about to do, I'm not even gonna eat all that beef, you know, you can do that. But otherwise, don't do what I do. Although, here's another moment. You can wash your hands. You can do that. I support that. I do need to go pee though. Love your videos. Thank you, Janice. Appreciate watching. Does your stomach still hurt or whatever was hurting? Yeah, my, uh, basically I have like a, I talked about my, my video or my exercise video, but like right here, I kind of have like a pulled rib muscle. More or less is the simplest way to put it. Hit me up when you come back to Hamilton. I'm in Hamilton. Uh, wish I had... Wish I... I wish my hand... Oh, I wash my hands well, like... How I'd... Watch Jason Momoa's bottle. Oh my gosh, okay, that's funny, Minty. Oh, I think I just saw Super Chat. Hey, Steve Nelson. Thanks so much, my friend. Really appreciate it. And I see that I think I missed another super chat. So let me get on that too. Uh, from Missoula, Montana. I think MT's Montana, right? I'm sorry. I'm, I need to check. Well, thank you so much, Steve. Very much appreciate that. Um, huge round of applause for Steve. Woo! And I definitely missed another super chat somewhere, I believe. Let me scroll up. Let's see if I can find that. <clears throat> I think I missed one. Did I not miss one? It looks like looks like I missed one. Uh, I know I missed one somewhere. I'm I'm thinking I did anyway. It looks like I did. Maybe not. I'm scrolling all the way up though. I don't see it. Uh, did I miss another super chat? Or a super sticker. I'll scroll back down. Hopefully somebody caught me. Because if I did, thank you so much. I very much appreciate all of you. Very, very much. Let's see. All the way back down. Uh, Easter, Easter. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Steve, for the super chat. Shout out to Steve. He is the man. Everyone claps for Steve. Nice. I think you did. I'm going to say caps is Andre. Nice. Hey, Joel, read us a story. Yes, Rachel, I did do that at some point. Happy Easter, everybody. Minaj says, I don't think so. Okay, so if I didn't, good. Because I would not want to miss that. I very much appreciate all of you. I appreciate you. All right, I do have to go pee, though. Uh, I don't know what you guys want to look at. Um, and we'll get into the steak. Let's try, I'll try to see if there's anything cool for you, me, you to look at. Um... Do I have a bicep vein? Yeah, I have veins all over my body. I want to see something cool. So I took a lettuce stalk, like I cut like lettuce, and they said if you put it in water, you can grow, and this is what it looks like. So this is a lettuce plant. That's just off the stalk of a lettuce. All right, now I need to go pee. So no, I don't think I want to take the cam to the bathroom. I'll set you up right here with the beef, with the meat. There you go, you can look at the meat. Oh no, that's my camera falling. Let's try that again. Oh my gosh. All right. Just... There's the meat. You guys can watch it for me. Make sure it doesn't run away. I gotta go pee.
back. Thanks for watching the meat for me, everybody. All right, let's see. Looks pretty nice. All right, let's go eat, y'all. I see we dropped there for a second. A little bit of juices came out of it, not too much. You see a little bit of juice there. Looks good. Looks good. We need some tile work. <laughs> this is it's not I don't I don't actually own this house, so respectfully I don't really care about the tiles. You see that? Look at the dripping. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm excited for this. I'm very excited. Looks very nice. Alright, so somebody asked me what I'm eating with earlier. Well, right now, the steak looks so good. I'm just going to eat the steak. I'll probably grab my bell pepper. Because that's, you know. Oh, and I'll have some tomatoes, too. already tell I'm going to have a hard time not eating this whole piece of meat because it looks scrumptious. And it smells great. I wish this is another time I would love you. Come on. Salt pepper. Let's go eat, y'all. I don't know what the lighting will be like in the by the table. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, you know, I need a fork. I got a knife. Somebody just asked tips on something, but I didn't get a read what it is. I need to get a fork and then I'll have dinner with you guys. Holy shit, that smells so good. Woo! Smells like beef. Yes, this is a bell pepper. What's how we eat bell peppers? Apparently, people don't eat them like that. Joel, do you have any tips for weight loss? I'm down at 18 pounds and have ways to go. Um, Diet and exercise, and I don't mean to just sound like a broken record, but definitely those are the two most key, most important aspects. Maybe. I don't know about that, Carrie. I might believe it. Favorite fruit and vegetables? I think my favorite fruit is probably pineapple. Mangoes uh, and mangoes and blueberries are a short second and third. And they're all like my top three. And then I definitely think my favorite vegetable is probably uh probably actually like bell peppers. I love salt, but it dry brine a little bit, so it might be salty. Wow, well, I won't put too much on it just to stir. All right, let's see what this looks like. I don't even know where to start. I'll start right at the bone. 
Oh, this is going to be a nice piece right here. Nice and fatty. All right. Dig it right from the bone. You guys see this? Look at it. Just look at it. Okay, I'm excited. Nice piece of fat. I, I, if I had a steak knife, it might be a little easier, but okay. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. 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 okay. That was good. That part actually even had that little bit of, I don't know if it's like, it's like bone membrane on it, but it was so good. Mm. Mm. This is, this is damn good, but it definitely needs more salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 I'm broken. Ah, speechless. Oh my god. I'm just gonna make a pile of salt. I don't really even need pepper. I don't need anything. I got beef. Let's see. I'll cut the bone away. I guess there's twine on there. Is there twine? Oh, the twine burned. Just trying to get the bone out. Yeah, I like to do it. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is a nice looking bone. It's very nice. Nice and juicy. Oh, look, it's just so good. I just want to eat the beef. Dip it in my salt pile. Mm. Yeah. Woo! I was not fat free. Mm. God damn. Mm. I would definitely need some more napkins or stuff. Yeah, sometimes the accent just takes over. And they just can't do anything about it. So good. So very nice. No shame. Somebody asked, do I have a girlfriend? No. What's your next challenge? Um, I think it's the next challenge I'm looking forward to. That's a great question. Because I don't know what my next official challenge will be. Because everything's closed. But I can answer that by saying, I am most excited, excited for my next challenge in general because I will be doing a challenge. Canada is still locked down. Yeah. If you could only eat one dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? Barbecue. I want a big piece of steak now. I don't blame you. I waited six months for this. Yes, YouTube is not my job. It's a hobby. Mm. Hello, Nebula. Right now you're having an affair that steak. I basically am. If I could marry food, I totally would. 
Hi guys, I have a, a two part special video coming out tomorrow. One tomorrow and the other one on Tuesday. Two part special. So delicious. So juicy. Mm. Nice little bit of blood accumulating on the bottom there. Delicious. Very, very nice. Christine, I can't answer that question. But my answer, I, I can't answer it. Mm, so delicious. This is a nice cut of beef before too. I guess I didn't show you too much of the marbling, but it's really nice and mellow. I don't think I will be vegan in a few years. I think I'd rather die. I'm just kidding. I could be vegan. I like, I legitimately like beans and stuff. Like I legitimately like fruits. I love, actually I love, I love fruits and vegetables. I love legumes. Like I love everything you would need to eat to be a vegan. But I just like animals more. I love to eat animals. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Mm. I got a huge piece of fat on that. Oh, and it's rendered. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. And it is a roast. It is definitely a roast. Mmm. Oh, damn, that's so good. Ugh, it just keeps getting better and better. And I'm eating like all the fatty, the nice, really fatty parts right now. So that's what I'll eat on Easter. The more the merrier. I just need to use my hand to get this. How much does a meat like that cost? I got this on sale. And it was actually on sale um, again this last week. So this cost me about $13, I think. And um, I was going to buy another rib roast yesterday when I stopped at the store, but I didn't. And again, when I was at the store, I forgot everything was closed today. I go watch Netflix and I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I think my, I don't know. I think I probably even have a login to a Netflix account on my computer, but I don't watch it. I don't know. Hello from Sweden. Do you find it hard first reading, reading in front of a camera and showing how much you enjoy just like something? Um, well, I'm pretty transparent, like, oh, eating in front of the camera. I don't find it hard eating in front of the camera. Um, but like, I really need another napkin. I don't want to have it on my sock. I think I do actually. But, like, I'm, I'm pretty transparent, whereas like, when I did that, uh, Japanese food stuff the other day like when I didn't like something it was pretty easy to tell I didn't like it but sometimes you know I mean when I'm enjo enjoying something I mean that's pretty obvious as well usually I kind of lose my my voice and I become absolutely useless for a few minutes damn this stuff looks damn good this is damn delicious oh um 
why the tiny morsel tonight? Guys, I knew this question was going to come up. I don't think you guys realize this, but I'm not a glutton. I don't eat like I do in my videos normally. Like I said, I'm not even going to finish all of this because I want to save it. Like, I, and, and I think it's kind of funny because I don't know if you guys realize this, but like, I don't, uh, it would be like seeing Usain Bolt, you know, and, and being like, like, let's say a video of him just like walking around his house like this, very leisurely casual. And, and you asking him, Usain Bolt, why aren't you running? He'd be like, what, what do you mean? I'm walking and showing you around my house. Like, just as like, like it's just not, it would be like assuming that Usain Bolt doesn't stop running and like doesn't walk. Like, of course he walks. And it'd be like saying like a, you know, famous, you know, let's say Floyd May Mayweather, a famous boxer, you know, out, out for dinner with his wife and kids. Yo, Floyd, why aren't you boxing your wife and kids? What do you mean? You're a boxer. He'd be like, he'd be like, what do you mean? No, man. Like, I, I do, like, you know, I don't just box all the time, or I don't just go crazy all the time, right? Um, definitely too much salt in there. I know I don't eat low-carb. I just want it. So I eat my beef. Oh, it was hot. Mm. And it's damn good. Mm. Mm. I don't think there's ever enough salt. Mm. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just so good. Hey, everyone. I just saying bowl of handsome man. How do you like your steaks, Dom? I mean, it kind of depends on the steak, but between a medium rare and a medium, or just this right here. Mm. Uh, salt lover, do an eight bucket of KFC challenge. Is that like an eight piece bucket? I like chicken, fried chicken. What do you do? A you a what you eat in a day? I've done a couple, Linda. You can find them on my channel. Um, how long does it take to bounce back after a challenge? Really depends on the challenge. Sometimes an hour. Sometimes well, not an hour. Sometimes like the night of, you'll feel okay. Usually the next day you feel okay, but sometimes eight buckets of KFC. If somebody wants to buy them for me, I'll do it. Otherwise, no. This KFC is expensive. How do you eat so much? I just got it. Joel, I think you would like salty licorice. I actually don't. I do like black licorice, but I've tried the salty black licorice, and I don't like it as much as just a normal black licorice because it is very salty. But I do like normal black licorice quite a lot, actually. Okay. I don't know if you guys see it, but this piece has fat on both sides. Pizza or burgers, burgers a thousand percent. Not a big pizza person, but I will admit, I have had a couple good pizzas in my life, and I enjoy those. What is the steak place called that you ate at in Hamilton? Um, the sous vide place. Uh, it was uh, it's called um, Xing Xing Yu Xing Zha. I don't know how to pronounce. I think like I think Chinese is Xin Yu. Any type of food challenge that you refuse to do? Mm. Mm. So good. Not really. Sorry for salt's right. Ballpark Team Pizza was a good one. I have another uh, good pizza challenge coming up at some point with a video coming out. 
All right, this might be my last bite, guys. One of my last bites. So good. I almost just swore. Oh, so damn good. Mm. Would you rather be a bear or a gorilla? A gorilla. If you're ever in Fort Wayne, you should try a family called Sierra's. Fort Wayne? Is that. Where is Fort Wayne? Probably a few of those out there. I watched your $500 burger challenge today. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm. So good. So good. I'm gonna watch this before I eat it. Fort Wayne is Indiana. Perfect. Have you been to Cincinnati? Uh, no. So good. I'm so careful of being not to bite the fork. I broke my tooth in the summer biting the fork. Do they do hot pot challenges? I did a hot pot contest, a video on my channel. I used to do a wheat bakes challenge. That just sounds horrible. I have been watching your videos on your channels the last few days. You're awesome. Well, thank you so much. Come on, Joe, it looks so good. It is really good. Mm. It's too good. Have you ever been to England? No, I have not. Whenever you eat at home, I never see the ketchup. But what have you watched me eat at home? I mean, I wouldn't have ketchup with this steak. Um... I do like ketchup. To be honest, I'm often out of ketchup at home because I like to eat it. I did a little bit now, but. Mm. Oh. Oh. Basically, all that was was it's been sitting in fat. I just sucked the fat right out of it. So good. Have you done the one chip challenge? No, I haven't. Anyone you would not want to collab with? That is a great question. Um, well, that's a question I don't think I'm going to answer. There's not really, I mean, I, I could probably think of maybe, maybe one individual that I like just wouldn't really want to, but I, I, I would. All right, I, there's not really, I don't think there's really many people or any people that I wouldn't collab with. Damn, this is so freaking tasty, guys. Ugh. I wish it would never end. Uh, this part is just so fat. This is another huge blob of fat. But then I'm pretty sure that is the end of it. Because it was why? It was, uh, it was over two pounds, minus a bone. Yeah, I got my F. Uh, I'll eat this bite. That'll be my protein for the day, 100%. More than enough for the day. It is damn tasty, though. Ugh, so good. So I said, do I like spicy food? I like, I do like spicy food, like hot food, but like I'm not eating like ghost peppers. But actually, last time I was at a restaurant, um, which you guys will see this video eventually, and it was by far one of the best dining experiences I've had probably in my life. It was actually at a Mexican restaurant. And, uh, they had a ghost pepper habanero sauce, which I was using. It was hot, but like where I cut the line is where like if you get, get stomach cramps or something, I can't do that. Like it's just not fun. How come the steak is still on the plate because I'm eating it? Imagine if Joel did a video with Mika out of avocado. I'd love to do that. Remember the book? I definitely need to grab the book. Thank you very much, Nathan. What's your favorite kind of quiche? I would say no quiche. I'm not a big quiche person. Do you like Joe Chestnut? Yeah, he's a really cool guy. I like him a lot. Christine, loving this live stream. Hope someone talks about me the way Joe talks about food. I do love food. I'll say that. 
Um, love the fat. So good. Do you have pets? No, I don't. I'm watching your channel for a long time. I think you're amazing. Thank you as well. Is that a grilled steak? Yes, it is. Joel, cool channel. How come? How many ounces of prime rib is that? Paul, it was, uh, how many ounces would that be? It was about two and a third. So like just under 40 ounces, I guess. Is it 42, 32, about 37, 38? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I probably consume about three grams of salt with this. Mm. No regrets. Could you ever eat Joey Chestnut? No. The Mexican restaurant is in Canada. The owner has actually just moved to Canada like six months ago. They owned a restaurant in Mexico. It was amazing. You can find out the place if you go check out my Instagram. Model vs. Food. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. I wish I could show you what I just put in my mouth. I wish I could ever show you. Just for the fact. Mm. That was a pure, pure, it was pure fact. Oh. Oh my God. Mm. Ah. But it's rendered fat. It's a good fat. Oh my God. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. <sighs> I'm out of breath, guys. That bite took my fuck. It, excuse my language. That took my. Oh. I just took my breath away. Ah. <sighs> I am literally. I just died. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Oh guys, I I can't. Oh I literally just can't. Oh I swear I just literally died. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Life changing. Somebody says, eat with Raina, I have. Um, what's the biggest steak you have eaten? Um, I think 72 ounces, I've done a couple times. I did five pounds of mixed steaks at the Steak and Main Challenge. Somebody says, do I like men or women? I very much like women. Mm. Tell you if I start talking about women, it'll sound a lot like I'm eating food. Ah, <sighs> oh, guys, I'm still broken. This is just that bite was so good. Oh, I I don't even know how to react. I just oh so good. Here, I'm not eating the rest of this because I want to save it, but let's just look at this. Look at this beautiful, look at that beautiful freaking, ugh. It's so good. I'm going to go put it away now. I really eat the rest, but I'll, I'll get a little bit more food and I'll read you that book. Oh, what a life-changing experience. I am, I am, I'm speechless. I will definitely have to go get some uh, I'll have to go get some more beef this week. That bite just decided it. Like I said, I was looking at these freaking massive prime ribs yesterday. It's like I kinda want one, but I have one. I should have bought it. 
I'm going to the store this week to buy some freaking prime rib. Damn. So good. So good. guys it's too good it's too tasty all right put this beef away uh, what are you guys saying you should do cooking videos I could would you guys like that oh, actually I got a question so I love beef if you guys can tell is anybody in a dry aging would you guys like uh Maybe do a dry aging video or series. That'd be kind of cool. Dry aged meat for, I'll probably do it for 30 days to start. Maybe 30 and one for 40 or 45. Let's look at that. It is freaking beauty. Um, I'd like to dry age. If you guys would like to dry age, somebody drop a super chat. Because I looked at the, the bags, I get some you my bags. They're, they're a little expensive, but I'd get them. Putting that bloody, fatty juice all over my steak. Let's see what we got. Smoke ribs. I have, I do smoke. Well, I've done ribs. Um, I, I usually do pork butts, like pulled pork. That's more my thing. Do you have a meat fridge? No, I don't. But I recently got a vacuum sealer from a really good friend of mine named Jonathan, which you'll see in an upcoming video. Oh my God, that's just so good. I'm literally just eating the fat and the salt off the plate. Mm. And uh, so I buy some you my bags. They were like dry aging bags. You use with a vacuum sealer. And I would buy some. Mm. So good. I'm just going to lick this plate, guys. No shame. Oh, somebody super chat it. That means Tristan would like to see this uh, see these dry agents happen. Well, thank you very much. Um, how tall am I? I am 5'11". Dry aging, which is basically where you take beef and you let it sit in a fridge under good conditions, perfect conditions for about 30 to 40 days, and it doesn't rot. But the enzymes in the meat break it down so it becomes even more tender and tasty. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to lick this plate. No shame. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Minty would like a dry edge video. Yeah, thank you for the super chat. Huge round of applause for Tristan. Sorry, I'm busy licking a plate. Woo! Fist bump, specifically. Can you do a tutorial on painting a front door? I did uh, the other day in my live video. I drew my friend Aaron. So that was kind of like a tutorial. Mm. Salt and fat. Um, that's right, Angelina. I appreciate everybody in here watching. You guys, support is very meaningful to me. Carrie says, how do I super chat you? Uh, there should be like a little link or a little thingy thing that you can, like a thing below the chat box, which is like super chat or super sticker. You should be able to select that. If anybody also... You can also just send it to my PayPal if you want. That way YouTube doesn't take 30% uh, of it. Which if you want to do that, feel free. I'm not telling you you have to, but hey, I would definitely appreciate it. And if I can get the money to buy the dry, dry age bags, I'll just order them. If you guys really want to see it. But no, I appreciate your guys' support. Even just watching here is absolutely excellent. Your continual support 
is not only humbling for me, but I very much appreciate all of you. Your viewership, your commenting, your being in here is really awesome. Um, my body, let's see. I may be doing three pounds of peanuts. That's interesting. Um, greens from Poland. Yes, tuna is the perfect example right there. Isabel, good night. I guess it's quite later there in England, so have a good night. I hope you had a lovely Easter. Did Aaron pay for the piece? Uh, yes. Like the play, I damn did. Absolutely, Tristan. No, I appreciate you. I'm not sure what Paul is suggesting. Um, how does it not rot? Yes, Amanda. Great question. And Tuna kind of answered that. Basically, it's like you put it in a condition where there's no oxygen, so it doesn't like rot. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting. I'm not sure a gaming channel is asking. Love you singing would be nice to hear. I could sing some. Let me wash my hands all this beautiful fat off of it. If I taste as good, or like if I, somebody ate me, I wonder if I taste as good as that cow just did. I don't know. All right. Um, is Italian for wiping your plate with bread? Oh yeah, yeah, I could do that. Oh, I'd rather just lick the plate to be honest with you. Um, glad I caught you. This is from Glamour Van. Uh, seemed like a nice guy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Uh, appreciate the good vibes from Yales. Wales. All right, now I'm going to put some toast and toaster. Oh, I tell you, though, life, that steak was life changing. I don't really even need anything else in my life right now. Oof. I'm still, I'm still positive, like just still absorbing it. I'm in shock. There's a tomato. Um, let me double check. I really don't think I have much food here. I can make pasta. I haven't made pasta in a while. I don't have any oatmeal left. I doesn't make oatmeal. I like oatmeal. Big fan. Don't need tomato. So yeah, that friggin' Hey Chris, what's up? Happy Easter. I just basically ate a life-changing steak. Cheyenne, so that a friend in Canada who is a beekeeper, and you both resemble. Really, that's interesting. Christine, good night. Yes, dry aging and curing can be interesting. Dude, I've got a great big bag of uh, veggies in there. Warm veggies. Thank you. And I got veggies in there too. If you want them, just to heat them up. Why? Thank you. And pasta if you're hungry. Yeah, there you go. Eh? Don't go hungry. It's great. No, I won't. Appreciate it. There you go. That's a nice gesture. That's guy with the new dentist. I think there's a. 50% chance he's watching me from upstairs. No, I'm just eating it. This is how I eat my vegetables. The fanciest I get is I cut a head of lettuce up. That's one thing I don't eat, just like an apple. What are you making now? Toast. 
Have they ever been told you look like country singer Sam Hunt? I haven't actually. Have a song to sing? Uh, I could. Mm. I have a pair. Maybe I'll eat a pair or two. I know right there, but I had that mango, and like I said, it was freaking fire. It was the bomb diggity. Um, and some cream eggs. Yeah, I like cream eggs too. It's a yaw pear. It's from China. to the, the individual that said that. I actually should have kept that beef liquid on that plate. That would have been great to dip that bread in. So yes, I agree I should have done that. I'm actually going to put my toast back in the, the toaster. I like my... Uh, I like my toast very like very hot. Um, I wish I had a, high, a roommate instead of a high schooler and an annoying twin bro. One day, you know, I tell you, you look like the comic book character Captain America. Um, not really. I'll take it as a compliment. Jimmy, good night. Um. Any food challenges you're looking forward to when the lockdown's over? All food challenges. <laughs> Amanda says, I'm curious how Joel is to live with. Probably depends who you ask. No, Dennis doesn't have a channel. Um, no, I, I would like to think I'm pretty good to live with. I have never actually had anybody. Uh... Yeah, ever complain. I'm quite clean. I'm not noisy. I do eat a lot and I use a lot of fridge space. So I'm pretty reasonable as a person, I'd like to think. Delicious. If I only have one barbecue dish, it would be um, like a, but it has to be good. It has to be good. But a good brisket. Ooh, or a beef rib. Uh, definitely brisket or beef rib. You still down to food? Nah. A younger Thor. I heard the the Hemsworth brothers. Thank you, lady. Um, I'd rather be a high. Naked apron on the daily. Almost. No naked apron today. Damn, I tell you, I, I, I could have went naked today. I wouldn't have cared though. That steak was damn good. All about that beef. Mm. Literally life changing. Life changing. No, I don't use any drugs. Besides caffeine, occasionally. Grilled some bones and ribeyes tonight. That sounds damn good. Some baby backs. I do love me some beef. And some meats, if you guys don't know. Speaking of barbecue, when do you plan to do another barbecue challenge? That is a great question. And uh, I don't have an answer. I really don't have an answer. Barbecue is very expensive. But if you guys would like to see it, drop a super chat. How's that? 
But no, in all in all, ser- in all seriousness, uh, I don't know. I love I love barbecue, but it's kind of food. I mean, maybe I do some takeout. I might consider doing some takeout, maybe. But in the, if I'm not making it, then it's the kind of thing where like I want to kind of be at the restaurant. I mean, like like, like there's some people who might disagree, but. I don't think takeout food is ever quite at the same caliber as like eating in a restaurant. Like, it's okay. Like, let's say like fried chicken. Like, if you eat fried chicken in a restaurant when it's fresh versus sitting in a tub for twenty minutes, it's different. If you uh. You know. And it's just not the same. There's a reheat, it's cold, not fresh. The only barbecue I ate was a pork rib and a burger like 12 years ago. Wow. Well, exactly. Oshandra. We do a barbecue at home. I would. Again, I would have like smoked meat or cooked chicken or something after today. But the chicken about it was not on sale. And uh no pork shoulders or anywhere on sale. Um Angela says, Are there any soul food restaurants in Canada? I love soul foods. I don't really know if there's any soul food quote unquote restaurants. I mean, sure there maybe is. I just don't really know of any. Oh, quick question: Is Golden Corral kind of considered soul food? I think that's a question I was asking myself, wondering the other day. Yeah, burnt ends are good too. Cause like Golden Corral has like all their like collard greens, fried chicken. Um, catfish. Have you used a Traeger before? I have not. Golden Crow is soul food. Okay, so then I love Golden Crow and I love soul food. I I I, I oh, a little bit of a spoiler. I I did have a uh, have a Golden Crow video coming up, and I was kind of debating that question. It's like, is it soul food? I disagree. I ever said Golden Crow is disgusting. I've been three times, and two times were absolute fire. The one time was still solid. You just gotta go with busy, because. Then it's fresh, but otherwise, I mean, nobody wants food that's sitting around old in general. So somebody also commented something similar in regards to like buffets. It's like like a buffet and or takeout. They can kind of both fall in the same category. Basically, nobody just like old food. Old reheated food's not good. What is good is fresh food. All over the place. I respect that. It's not for everybody, Golden Crow, but every time I've been, I damn enjoy myself and I get my money's worth. I'll tell you that much. Mm. I didn't think this was ripe. This is a lot riper than I thought it was. Mm. Delicious. The Golden Corral items I pick are all 10 out of 10. And they're excellent. You just gotta pick the right ones. So, fun tip. You guys sometimes like these tips. If you ever want food to ripen quicker, so like I want my pears to ripen quicker, take a banana and put it in a bag with them. So the reason why bananas ripen so quickly is because they produce a lot of ethylene gas. So when they actually ship, transport, and store bananas, they put them in like, I don't know what you call them, but I'll call them like suction chambers or reverse air chambers, where it basically sucks all the air out. So they constantly are removing the ethylene gas that the bananas produce. And that's why they're picked super, super green. So if you ever want a fruit or a vegetable to ripen quicker, put a banana in a bag with it, and it'll ripen it all quicker.
Hope you're on a class golden crow. I like them. I like it. Let's see. Oh. Thanks, Jack Plan. Have a good night. Biggest prize we won from the contest. Um, thousand dollars. My pleasure, Minty. Grand bananas for uh, banana bread also work. All right. Mm. This is delicious. But I told you to go read that story, so I'll go read that story. Damn, that's so good. Um, let's see. Damn. Mm. And this pear is a lot better than I expected. So I'm super thankful about that. I'm very thankful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, God. Thank you for the day. Thank you, food. Thank you, Pear, for being riper than I thought. Thank you, Barbecue, for cooking my beautiful meat. Thank you, Cal, that gave me the meat. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Mm. So good. All right, I'm going to get this book. So oh, good. Loved it. Alright, hey, everybody. Up in the hood. That's what we got. Glamour Van says, I've been struggling motivating myself to exercise and eat right while stuck at home. Any advice or do you have days similar at all? Thanks for reading my comments, by the way. Absolutely my pleasure. So, yes. Um, in fact, oh, we're at 15% battery. So in fact, um, I would say like, so I, when the gyms first closed, man, I took that hard. I'll be honest with you. It took me like definitely a few days to accept that. It was very like, I was very disappointed about that situation. That was the thing that affected me the hardest. Um, but it's all about routine. Uh, you just kind of got to, this is, let's say, I'll speak for myself. So just as I had in the routine to get up pretty much every day and go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, I just had to be in a routine. So now I'm doing, uh, I'm try to go for a bit of a walk every day, which I need to do a little bit more even so. But then I have gotten in the routine of doing, let's say, a workout every other day. So that's what I've been doing. I do kind of like a full body every other day. Uh, it's just kind of about routine. That's what I'd say. Now what I do fully... Oh, and even here's a better way. So let's do it for, like, let's, I don't know, let's say, again, you're like me, right? So let's say you start wanting to walk. So this is what I'm doing. So I want to walk. So do it for one day. Congratulations, you did it for one day. Now do it for three days. Just three days. That's easy, right? So day one, day two, day three. Now you did it for three days, you do it for another three days. You just did it for three days, you can do it. So one, two, three. Congratulations, you're already a week. You just did it for a whole week. From there, just continue that. You'll get the habit. You know, even if you miss a day, just know we get back on it. I believe in you. We all believe in you. YouTube family right here. Okay. Nice. So this is a book that I was given by Jimmy Chestbum. I don't know if there's a legitimate, like, I actually, I, I actually don't know the real gentleman's name but he goes by Jimmy chest bump uh, he contacted me on Instagram a while ago I was like yo can I send you a book I was it like, sure so this is a it's a hot dog eating contest Jimmy chest bump it's kind of cool I've seen a few other eaters get these books and read them so 
So it's kind of like a story. I don't know if it's inspired after somebody whose name is very similar to this. I don't know if it's about like really inspired by like Joey Chestnut, but it's kind of a funny story. And online there is a uh, like a I don't know what you'd call it, but like basically they take the there's there's like an audio book basically. So hot dog eating champ by Jimmy Chestnut. So we'll read it. <clears throat> Did he autograph it for you? I don't know if he did. I don't see it. All right, anyway, let's read it. All right, so here's the picture. So it is people eating hot dogs. I'm gonna have to turn to read it though. All right, so it says, many years ago at a family barbecue, I proved that I could eat despite an unimpressive chew. I put down 18 dogs, twice as many as my bro, but as many as that was, I ate them awfully slow. So, looks, so I guess him and his brother had a hot dog eating contest. <clears throat> I just had to accept that my eating hit a ceiling. It made me proud, though, and I had a nice feeling. And so 18 and his brother got nine. Well, Pumpkin says I'm from Ontario, Canada. I hope you're being safe on this happy Easter. Thank you so much. Um, be safe. Yes, absolutely. Definitely through this pandemic. Thank you very much. And while nice feelings are nice, I knew inside my gut for for the varsity eating tryouts, I might not make the cut. So apparently, there are varsity eating contests. Our school took a lot of pride in being number one, eating every type of food, like the hot dog and the bun. And they all, the school obviously has a lot of uh, trophies. Yeah, if you can find exercise equipment for sure. And the guy that ate the most back, back at summer eating camp was looking to defend his title as state champ. So apparently that guy is the state champ. Uh, Angelina says quarantine is inspired to lose weight. That's good. My friend George is also, uh, George Obianco is in the process of losing a lot of weight. I always thought this guy was a show off and a jerk. If I was going to beat him, I was going to have to put in work. I got right there. Well, the tryouts had begun and I ate to the extreme. 10 francs behind the champ, but at least I made the team. So this is Jimmy chest bump and the other guy, and then that's the champ. So he had 19, the other champ did uh, 29. I knew it could be more. I barely, I was barely even stuffed. It's that darn minute, 10 minute timer that kept me so handcuffed. So he needs to learn how to eat quicker. What else could I do to be the best I could become? To train those feeble jaws, I bought 15 packs of gum. So the whole bunch of gum. I chewed and chewed and chewed. I felt my jaws get stronger. With the competition up, I couldn't wait much longer. So it's him chewing lots of gum. The day finally arrived after much anticipation, September 21st, mark for the contest. Still six hot dogs behind the champ despite all that preparation. I was still trailing the champ. What else was there to do? I browsed a local pet shop for a dog that I could, for a dog ball that I could chew. I chomped away all day and night. I chomped like a mutt. This should surely help me get out of this stinking rut. So he went and bought a dog ball at a pet store and he's chewing on it. <clears throat> Woohoo! I set a new PR. 32 should win it. But he'd been training too, you know. I was still behind a bit. So he lost by four this time. The 32 champ got 36. Hello from Yorkshire, England. Hello. Yeah, here's nap time. I can't stand to see him win the way he celebrates. The good news was my new PR qualified for states. So apparently the guy... Looks like he uh, would like flex when he won, and then he qualified for states. So that's pretty cool. 
What else was I to do? There was no new tricks. I, so I focused really hard and stuck to the basics. My jaw was strong, my belly tough. What else can beat this freak? So I started to develop a finely tuned technique. I broke the dog in half and dipped the bun in water. If I can get the motion down, surely I'll stage a slaughter. He's perfecting his hot dog technique. I trained so hard, did my best. The days were the day for states was here, December 17th. I stared down on my competition to show I had no fear. He was over there with his sunglasses on. The champ came out, they played his song, the crowd went crazy. But I came out with headphones on and kept my entrance mild. I like Joey Ch I like this guy, Joey Chestnut. That's a, I think that's a good move. Talk is cheap, let your ashes speak, bro. The countdown started. One, two, three. The contest had begun. My new tech technique drew oohs and ahs. This started off so fun. So it blew the whistle, then oohs and ahs at his new technique. Look, there's even a girl. I thought I'd set a record according to my pace till I peeked across the table and saw the champ even in this race. So he's at 24 and the champ's at 24. And he looks a little shocked. He looks intense. And how many kids do you want acting all polite like this? What does it say? Marry someone. Marry every time someone mentions Hamilton. All I can think is the musical. Oh, yeah. Ten minutes almost over. Kick it up a notch. The chance to beat the champ was not one I want to botch. The clock was done. They needed time to tie up the score. The judge yelled, tie between these two. You'll need to eat five more. Holy jump it. Hear that? So it's freaking tied. That's 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 crazy. Yeah, it's almost like Kobayashi here. To break the tie between us two would come right down to speed, which I've practiced all along, somehow knowing what I need to do. I got the fifth one down while he struck number three. Wait, that means the champ is my goodness, guys. It's me. Oh, yeah. I finally beat the guy who was standing in my way, but I couldn't help but think, would I be standing here today? And he goes, hmm. If I'd never seen him eat, if I'd never seen him win, do you think I would have found the motivation deep within? But because I saw him win and because I saw him eat, I found extra motivation in my journey to complete. So he's thinking back, reflecting on his experiences with this guy. Uh, man, does some do a little bit. It took me finally winning for me to see clearly. He was not a jerk. It was just my jealousy. Look at that. So the guy actually wasn't a jerk at all. It was just this guy being jealous. So he perceived a false picture of him. He embraced me in defeat with a warm congratulation. So I embraced him back with newfound admiration. <clears throat> the first time I have ever won was the best I'd ever felt. Even after taking home the, the mustard colored belt. So this is definitely about Joey Chestnut. So look, it's like 80, which Joey hasn't hit, but you know, in the making, I guess, and it's, you know, even after taking home the mustard belt 10 times. Which that has a 2020 on it. I don't know if Mason's is going to happen this year. But if, I mean, you know, who knows? We'll have to stay positive and see what happens. Thank you for reading. Text and illustration protected by copyright. Uh, you can... You can buy the book on Amazon. You can review them. Jimmy Chestbump. That's pretty cool. 
There we go. Thank you, Jimmy Chestnut, for the book. Definitely a cool read. And there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that story. Some people say it's pretty cute. Got a hello from Ireland from Thomas. Hello, Thomas. There you go. That's cool. Well, there you go, everybody. Thanks for joining me for Easter. Jim says, how are you doing challenges? I'm not doing any challenges. Uh, besides a couple of down at home. Um, yes, Blackheads. Definitely, people, subscribe if you like it. Hope you guys enjoyed this live. Uh, thank you for joining me for dinner tonight. Thank you for joining me as I cook my beautiful steak, which is absolutely delicious. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope you, yeah, it will be a, a New York Times bestseller. Hope you enjoyed that story time as well. So we got story time with Joel. We got steak with Joel. We got uh, pear with Joel. Oh, that steak though. Ugh, just thinking about it. It's, uh, it's life changing. And uh, yeah, you even got the old barbecue going, which I freaking love barbecue. Mm, so good. But everybody, it sounds like you guys had a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, glad you guys did as well. Justine from Kansas. Lady, of course, from Vegas, and low battery rate, five percent. So that is definitely a time to sign off. Again, everybody, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Till next time. Of course, stay happy, healthy, and hungry. Wash your hands. Just you know, be safe out there. It's a crazy life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Reminder: we have a, a two-part special starting tomorrow. Um. And which has two parts. We're going to get one part tomorrow on Monday and one part on Tuesday. Hope you enjoy. Definitely watch them. And if you guys like these videos, be sure to comment on my videos. Be sure to give them a like. Be sure to subscribe if you like. And if you want, take them on Facebook. Give them a share or something like that. I'd always appreciate it. So again, everybody, thank you so much. Until next time, happy eating. As soon as I can. There you go. Hold on. There we go. All right. Bye, everybody. Happy Easter.